What's up guys and gals, it is I once again, Mr. Gamer 990 and today guys and gals I want to talk about and review the 2017 release Dark Fantasy themed action adventure slash survival horror video game Hellblade Senwa's Sacrifice and this video game guys and gals my god was so fucking amazing Hellblade Senwa's Sacrifice was developed and published by Ninja Theory and was directed and written by Tamim Antonidis and this game was also produced by Rupert Brooker and my god guys and gals this video game yours truly has just got done playing it and this game was so amazing and so awesome and such a powerful game in terms of the themes and ideas explored especially the theme of psychosis which is basically a mental disorder psychosis guys and gals is the main theme Theme and focus of this game and the victim of who? Senwa, who's the main character and the main protagonist of our story, has to overcome her psychosis and defeat death himself and death guys and gals is presented as darkness. Darkness which is basically a plague, a plague that is slowly corrupting Senwa and her soul, eating her alive. And Senwa has to overcome this as she journeys to the place of Helheim, seeking a power which can bring back her beloved Dillian. Dillian, who's basically her boyfriend. And that, guys and gals, is the quest and journey and odyssey of Senwa. Dark odyssey of Senwa, because this tale, guys and gals, is not for the faint of hearts. Because this tale is so dark and grim and very intense. And Senwa's dark odyssey is one that will test her fury, her will, her spirit, and how far will she go and how much pain will she endure in her quest to bring back her beloved Dillian, to bring him back from the dead, back into the world of the living. And this tale, guys and gals, does not only deal with psychosis, the theme and mental disorder that is psychosis, but this game, guys and gals, this tale also deals in the theme of life and death and is basically a character study of Senwa who's dealing with her own psychosis, hearing voices in her head and these voices guys and gals are known as Furies. Furies are basically the inner thoughts and inner struggles of Senwa, her fears, her pain, her worries, her doubts, her anger, her hatred and her rage and her fury and so much more guys and gals going on inside her head and and this is basically her struggle, her burden, and her pain, her inner darkness which she has to overcome and defeat. And she will guys and gals, she will because this tale, this odyssey, dark odyssey of Senwa is the journey and quest of the warrior in which she seeks to bring back her beloved Dillian which she will guys and gals, oh she will damn right. What the hell can I say about this game guys and gals, this game was so awesome and amazing and this game guys and gals Hellblade Senwa's Sacrifice is basically classified as a triple A game an independent triple A game and this game guys and gals was made developed and published at a low budget a very low budget guys and gals it was hence this game being a independent triple A game and this game guys and gals once again is so great and so amazing and what Hellblade Blade Senwa's sacrifice accomplished most was its detailed study on psychosis and the mental disorder that is psychosis because most video games guys and gals don't portray mental disorder in the right way in the most accurate way and the most faithful way and respectful way possible but this game guys and gals does that very well too and this game guys and gals was described as destigmatizing 
mental disorder and the way mental disorder is portrayed in video games as said by Professor Paul Fletcher who's basically a neuroscientist and expert on psychosis and the study of psychosis and this man Professor Paul Fletcher also worked on this game and that guys and gals is so cool and so awesome I forgot to mention to you guys and gals that this game Hellblade Senwa's Sacrifice takes inspirations from Norse mythology and Celtic culture which includes the Norse god such as Loki, Thor, Odin, Baldur and Hela. Hela guys and gals is basically the goddess of who Senwa has to see and wants her to bring back her beloved Dillian and of course guys and gals you have the Germanic gods such as Sigurd and Brunhild both of who are lovers very much like Senwa and her beloved Dillian and these two guys and gals Dillian and Senwa love each other so much hence why Senwa embarks on her journey her quest her dark odyssey as yours truly has described and Senwa guys and gals is part of a race of people known as the Picts and the Picts guys and gals are a confederation of people from the Middle Age and the Iron Age and that guys and gals is what she is Senwa a picked woman who goes on a journey for her beloved Dillian to bring him back to life and Senwa guys and gals is so awesome and so badass and so complex and she is portrayed so well by Melina Jurgen who's basically a German actress and she's so great Melina Jurgen guys and gals was a freelance photographer and video editor who performed the motion capture for her character Senwa and she was so great Tamim Antonidis the writer and director for this game gave Melina Jurgen an advice and that advice guys and gals was for Melina Jurgen to relive her own pain when playing the character her character Senwa and she was so great guys and gals once again she was so great and amazing and complex nuanced and detailed in her emotions one thing you guys and gals have to know about Senwa and her journey to find her beloved or to bring her beloved back is the fact that Senwa is not defined by her disorder mental disorder psychosis but Senwa guys and gals is defined by her strength her courage and her will to survive against all odds as a warrior a brave warrior who has so much heart and soul and guts and Melina Jurgen guys and gals captured all of that so damn well damn right aside from Hellblade Senwa's sacrifice visual effects which is so great guys and gals the visual effects and graphics and the story and direction and writing and themes and ideas explored and Melina Jurgen performance which was so great guys and gals it really was great and phenomenal she was all of that guys and gals was really good but this game also combines elements of survival horror with action hack and slash puzzle solving and so much more and this game guys and gals was criticized because of the gameplay which for some was lackluster and nothing special but yours truly enjoyed the game and loved it regardless and this game guys and gals in many ways is unique and special and so different especially in terms of the way the story is told and the story or the tale guys and gals of Senwa was so great by the way guys and gals I almost forgot to mention that this game also has a very good song a very good song which was played at the end of the game during the end credits and that song guys and and gals is illusion by the band VNV and this song guys and gals was so great and so emotionally resonating and just so awesome it was guys and gals it was and this game was just so great and my god guys and gals I cannot express to you guys and gals how accurate psychosis the mental disorder is portrayed in this game because professor Paul Fletcher is one of 
many neuroscientists and mental health specialists who worked on this game and this game guys and gals was made with the sole intention of portraying psychosis in the most accurate way possible and the developers behind the game also interviewed and discussed with people who actually endured and suffered through psychosis and this guys and gals was so admirable it really was guys and gals it really was so what you guys and gals see on screen in the game is actually real and actually well portrayed in terms of the psychosis and the psychology of people who suffered through psychosis all of it guys and gals is portrayed in the most accurate way possible and that guys and gals is fucking awesome it is guys and gals it is damn right by the way guys and gals I also forgot to mention that the band who made the song illusion that song was from their album judgment and that song was so great once again and to me and to Nidus and his direction and writing was amazing and so great and the story guys and gals once again was so great and amazing and this game as a whole yours truly absolutely loved it and this game guys and gals and you can quote me on this but this game right now as of now is one of my all-time favorites and this game guys and gals in every way was special and so unique and so great and I do recommend you guys and gals play it please do and thank you guys and gals for watching hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like comment subscribe if you wish and do check out my other channel where I talk about movies television anime etc until next time peace out take care adios amigos au revoir and sayonara